Kaisin to be registered public servant, another civil service examination review tayo today. At ang topic natin is about number series under geometric sequence. So, part 2 to ng video kasi yung first part ng video ay diniscuss ko naman yung arithmetic sequence natin at yung definition ng number series. So, kung hindi mo pa napapanood yun, I'll just put the link of that in the description box down below para mapakinggan mo or makasunod ka. So, this is going to be a review with me part 15. So, if you haven't watched the first 14 parts of this video, I'll also put the link of those in the description box down below kasi sobrang importante rin ng mga yun. Okay? Now, let's proceed or start na but we have to have video outline para organize ang video. So, we'll start with ge geometric sequence definition. It's important to know the definition. Second is geometric sequence formula. Yes po, meron tayong gagamitin yung formula dito. Next is sample of geometric sequence. Magbibigay tayo ng example para gets na gets natin. And then, you are turned to answer. Magbibigay ako ng question na sasagutan mo para matest out natin yung knowledge mo pagdating sa topic na to. And of course, magbibigyan ko ng 3 steps para mapadali ang pagsagot. So, medyo mahaba-habang sagutan or medyo nakakalito. So, may tatlong steps akong isi-share para mas mapadali. So, make sure to stay tuned until the end of this video. So, we'll start with what is geometric sequence. So, if the rule is to multiply or divide by a specific number each time, then it is called a geometric sequence. So, kung sa arithmetic, ang gamit nating uh, fundamentals of operation ay plus at minus, dito naman ay multiply and divide. So, alam niyo naman ako, meron talaga akong Tagalog version all the time. So, sa geometric sequence, ang ginagamit nating fundamentals of operation para malaman ng sequence. So, pagkakasunod-sunod ng mga numbers ay multiply at divide. So, pinakita ko lang din yung sign para gets na gets talaga natin. Alright? Now, proceed naman tayo sa ating next na slide. So, after the definition ng arithmetic sequence, ibibigay ko na sa inyo ang geometric sequence formula. So, it's best kung marirecall nyo to. So, that's A plus AR plus AR squared. So, kung nyo ano ba naman yan, ang complicated naman. But that's okay. Um, I- analyze nyo lang talaga ng mabuti. But of course, may mga meaning yung mga yan. So, yung A natin is equals to first term. So, constant to palagi na yung A ay first term or yung first number sa sequence. Ang R naman is equal to ratio. So, paano kunin ang ratio? So, ratio is equal to second term divided by first term. So, halimbawa, ang second term ay 6, tapos yung first term ay 2. So, 6 divided by 2, that's 3. So, 3 ang ratio natin. So, ganun lang po kadali itong formula na to. Okay. Now that uh, we know the formula already, magbibigay tayo ng example ng geometric sequence para gets na gets natin at para ma-apply natin yung formula. So, ito yung example. 3, 6, 12, 24, 48, blank, 192. So, gets mo na ba yung pattern or series? If not yet, that's okay. Uh, gamitin natin yung formula na A plus AR plus AR squared and so on ha. Pwede tong AR is to the third power and so on, okay? So, yung A again is yung first term or first number. R is yung ratio. And then, inulit ko lang. So, second term natin is 6. First term natin is 3. So, 6 divided 3, that's 2. Okay? So, titingin tayo dun sa given na question. Diyan galing yung 6 and 3. Okay? So, yan yung ratio. Now, proceed tayo sa next slide. Nilagay ko lang ulit yung question and formula para intindi natin. Ngayon, i... Ibabalik lang natin or I mean is substitute lang natin yung mga variable into numbers. So 3, right? 3, yung A natin is equals to 3 plus 3 ulit multiplied by R kasi ang R natin, ratio natin ay 2 plus 3, yun yung first term multiplied by 2 squared. And then same thing lang, same thing repeats itself pero... Uh, pataas ng pataas yung, ano niya, from squared to the third power, fourth power, fifth power, until sixth power siya. Okay, so ganun lang ang um, pag-analyze dito. So, para mas gets natin, i-multiply na natin to. So, 3, copy lang natin yung 3. So, 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. Kita nyo naman, right? So, dito sa my squares, uh, alamin natin yung PEMDAS rule. Diba, nauuna yung... Um, 
parenthesis. So, 2 squared muna tayo. 2 times 2 is 4. Tapos, copy natin yung 3 plus. Same thing. 2 times 2 times 2, that's 8. Multiplied by 3. Pangatlo naman. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that's 16 times 3. Plus, 3 times 2 times 2 times 2. Basta, 5 na 2. 32 plus 3 times 64. Kasi, ang anim na 2 ay 64. Po, hindi siya 2 times 6 na 12 ha. Dapat 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So, medyo mahaba-haba siya kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina. So, substitute ulit natin. 3 plus 6 plus uh, 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 16 is 48. 3 times 32 is 96. And then, 3 times 64 is 192. So, nakita nyo na ba yung pattern? Yes, nakita nyo na kasi nilagyan ko siya ng kulay red. So, 96 po ang susunod na number. So, yes, you can ignore, by the way, the plus sign. Kasi, uh, sunod-sunod na numbers lang naman. So, that's fine, okay? Gets ba natin? Just comment down below kung medyo malabo sa inyo. So, may technique tayo. How to get the answer quickly? Kasi, Miss Nayumi, parang masyadong mahaba-haba yun. Maraming computation, lalo na yung mga cube root, ganon, ganon. So, use this formula instead. Kung mas, kasi feeling ko ha, mas madali tong formula na to. So, A, N, A sub N is equals to A sub 1 times or multiplied by R tapos N minus 1. So, yung A sub so N natin, yun yung ninth term or yun yung usually hinahanap natin. Yung A1 natin, A sub 1 is yung first term. Tapos, yung R natin is yung common ratio at yung N natin is term position o kung saan nakalagay yung missing number or yung hinahanap nating number. So, magbibigay ako ng example or using the same example, by the way, using this formula. Okay? So, ilalagay ko yung formula sa screen as you can see. So, same question tayo. 3, 6, 12, 24, 48, blank, 192. So, a n is equals to n term. So, yun yung hinahanap natin, yung a, a sub n. Okay? So, yung A1 natin is 3 kasi makita mo naman yung first term natin is 3, right? Yung ratio natin is 2 pa rin kasi 6 divided 3 is 2, right? So, ang N natin ay 6. Bakit siya naging 6? Bakit term position natin is 6? Bilangin mo, ayun, from 3 to that blank. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So, yan siya. Then, apply na natin yung formula. A sub N is equal to 3 multiplied, yung 3 natin, again, yan yung first term, multiplied by ratio, which is 2, and then yung 6, magkatabi man yan, pero nasa 6 power yan, guys, ha? 6 minus 1 yan. Okay? So, ganyan po yung uh, pagkakalagay natin. Hindi ako nakapag, nakagamit ng pen, pasensya na kayo, next time gagamitin ko na talaga yung pen ko. So, equals na natin, copy natin yung 3, tapos copy din natin yung 2, and then 6 minus 1 is 5, and then, do the multiplication using PEMDAS rule. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 32 multiplied by 3. So, use the math, that's 96. So, ba mas madali siya. So, as long as alam natin or memorize natin yung formula, uh, substitute, sub substitute lang tayo ng mga kailangang uh, detalye or numbers, variables, ba Madali lang siyang sagutan. Pero later on, meron pa akong mas madaling version nito para hindi mo na kailangan mag-memorize ng um, formula. So, your turn, your turn to, it's your turn to shine, guys. You can pause this video, uh, not yet, by the way. Nandyan yung uh, kodigo, charis. Nandyan yung formula natin para may sundan ka. So, bibigay ko sa'yo yung question natin for today. So, we have 5, 15, 45, 135, 405, blank, 3,645. So, you can pause this video now. Nalam mo na yung sagot. Pero, I mean, yung tanong. So, pwede mong sagutan on your own. Pero, continue tayo. Find the sixth term. Yun yung question ko. Hanapin natin ang ika-anim na term. Kasi, yun yung missing number, ba? May number tayo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, sixth term yung hanapin natin. So, using the formula, um, where 
yung A sub N natin, yun yung ninth term, yun again, yun yung hinahanap natin, okay? Tapos, yung A1 natin, or yung first term natin is 5, as you can see, yung ratio natin is 3, how come? 15 divide 5 is 3, right? So, yun yung ratio natin. At ang N natin, or ang sixth term natin, ay 6. Kasi yun yung nawawala. Na, yun yung pang-anim yung nawawala, I mean. So, substitute lang ulit, eh, yung A sub N, Yung first term is 5 multiplied by ratio which is 3. Tapos yung power niya is 6. Pasensya na kayo halos magkatabi yung 6. Pero hindi yan 6 minus 1 yan guys ha. So 5 multiplied by 3. 6 minus 1 is 5. So 3 times 3 times 3. Basta limang 3 yan. Multiplied mo is 243. Multiplied by 5 would equal to... Uh, tingnan natin yung sagot. That's 1,215. So, yun ang ating hinahanap na A sub N or yun yung sixth term natin. So, 5, 15, 45, 135, 405, 1,215, 3,645. Paano ko nasabi na ito yung tamang sagot? Kasi po, kapag minultiply mo ang 1,215 sa 3, ang sagot po ay 3,645. You can check it if you want. So, eto, technique para hindi na mag-memorize. Kasi, alam ko, marami tayong inaaral. Kaya, may possibility na makalimutan natin yung mga yon. So, same uh, question. 5, 15, 45, 135, 405, blank, 3, 6, 4, 5. So, step. Step 1, kunin ang ratio. So, paano natin kukunin? Yun yung step 2. E, divide ang second term sa first term. So, 15 divide 5. So, yung ratio natin is 3. So, last step, kapag nakuha ng ratio, e, multiply lang ito sa mga katabing number hanggang sa marating ang hinahanap. So, again, yung ratio natin, common yan. So, hindi yan nagbabago kung ano yung multiply mo sa isa, ganun sa lahat ng numbers. Okay? So, as you can see, 5 times 3 is 15. 15 times 3 45. 45 times 3, 135. 135 times 3, 405. 405 times 3, 1,215. 1,215 multiplied by 3 is 3,645. So, ganun lang siya. Aalamin mo lang yung ratio. Tapos, multiply mo na siya sa mga kasunod na number. At promise, mas madali ito. You don't need to memorize. At um, kailangan lang talaga natin mag-multiply which is medyo mahaba-haba dahil malalaki yung numbers but I hope guys uh, meron tayong natutunan sa topic natin today, don't forget to like this video kung may natutunan kayo share this video sa iba na magtitake din ng exam subscribe to my channel I would appreciate that promise and comment down below I'll see you again in my next video bye